Cruise and spent a lot of time heading 205. If I have any initial contact, you have Echo. I'm Rob Lutz from Jaro Evolution over in New York. And I'm Henry Bugger from Adventure Air here in Los Angeles, California. Now we're going to take up this Cavalon 915IS. What are some of the favorite things that you're liking about this new Cavalon, Henry? Man, the Cavalon is awesome. I've flown quite a few Cavalons, but the new 915 it definitely takes the cake. Uh, this engine has all the power that uh, I need uh, to climb quickly and also to haul uh, some uh, some large gentlemen, I'll say. Yeah. Yeah, I've been flying <laughs> the same thing with ours over here on the uh, out there on the East Coast. It is not lacking in the power department, and the power delivery is awfully smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Two pop golf the run-up taxi two five. Sure, two pop golf from two five taxi is here. So Henry, you've been flying for a while, huh? Yeah, I've been flying almost 30 years now. Uh, I started off with single engine uh, land, uh, multi-engine instrument rated as well. And, um, you know, I started flying uh, weight shift control trikes and the gyros about seven years ago, and that's all I fly now. The, the gyros are so, so awesome. Um, the fact that they burn regular car gasoline, and my fuel burns about four or five gallons an hour. Started in uh, single engine land uh, airplanes, and went through the multi-engine, the flight instructors for airplane and instrument and helicopters, all sorts of turboprops, turbojets, and of all the aircraft I fly, uh, the gyro plane is the one that has won my heart. Clear for takeoff on 25, two Papa Gulf. Clear for takeoff on runway 25, clear right. Clear left. And 2,000 on the engine RPM, which we're looking to set. Hit the pre-rotator. Once we get through 120 RPM, we gotta make sure the stick is forward and straight. We're through 200 RPM. 250, all the parameters are looking good. 280, 300, here we go. Off we go. Got full power, that nose is gonna pop pretty quick. There, and it, there it is. And you're flying. And off we go. Yeah, that one we did, uh, Rob got off the ground in about 30 feet, 30 to 40 feet. And uh, for an auto gyro, that's, that's pretty awesome. That's one of the nice things about the uh, all the new rotor head designs, not too new, they're proven, they've been in the market for a little while, but uh, they are a third generation rotor head three from Autogyro. Uh, they're all good for pre-rotation, up to 320 rotor RPM. Another nice thing about Autogyro of Germany, uh, we are the only gyrocopter company that has US certified aircraft. Everybody else is experimental, uh, so if you don't want to build one yourself, you just want one uh, factory built and delivered to you, uh, Autogyro is the only company that makes that. It's a uh, quite a comfortable aircraft to operate. It's a great cruiser, right? Great cruiser, yep. This model, I I picked this up in Maryland, and I flew it from Maryland all the way back to California. Wow. About three days, and it was a beautiful, awesome trip. From a comfort factor, uh, the heated seats, two level of heat, that's really nice. I mean, the cabin heat's only based on uh, coolant, so there's no risk of carbon monoxide like on some of the other airplanes. Yeah, and the, uh, the cabin heat, we did use that when we left uh, Maryland flying down, and uh, man, when you turn that thing on, it, it, it heats this place up. It burns. The more advanced uh, instrument package, departure. I didn't notice you had another ship here that had the dual Garmin display. That is really cool. We have that out in the East Coast as well, and, and I tell you, that, that's a great display to have. That really, situational awareness goes through the roof, which is awesome. You can spot all your traffic, pull down weather, so we remember we were talking about this thing being a great cross-country machine. That definitely does add to it. You got FAA approved uh, recognition lights. You know, they're all to spec. You know, these aircraft, they're day and night VFR certified. So you got your positional lights, you got your strobe lights, you got those uh, taxi, uh, or I call them recog recognition lights in the nose and then that big Hercules light underneath. You know, one of the things I like flying uh, a gyroplane is, is you got that rotorcraft fun without uh, uh, the stress of flying, say, a helicopter, having that hand just glued to that collective, especially on something with a light inertia rotor system. Right now, my left hand's free to do whatever I want, <laughs> change the radio frequency. Um, hey, Rob, you're almost over the runway, and you're, and you're at 1,100 feet. Yep. Why? <laughs> yep, and I'm just, you know what, I'm just enjoying the view. What I really like doing is I just like pirouetting down a little bit, just slight bit of forward speed, and a little left rudder come down here. And just look at the whole countryside here. And pretty that's gorgeous. Pretty here. amazing seeing the city of LA and whatnot, LAX over there. Now we're positioned uh, on the final. And so this is just pleasure. Yep. No, it's 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 almost the romance of flying an old J3 Cub, but with more capability and a more modern sense of flying. I don't know. That might be sacrilege to say that. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to agree with you. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can line this baby up. 
power coming to idle. There's the flare. Here's the float. They like watch that from the air. That was that very cool. was a pretty sweet landing. Oh, I have was, to say, Rob, that was kind of a greaser, right? <laughs> I'll yeah. call it a greaser. Nose down. Ten tower, gyro two, Papa Golf. Uh, we're gonna exit on Charlie. Back to the hangar. Go to Papa Golf. Roger, sir. Turn left, Charlie, to the Bat Cave, and talk to you in a little bit. To the Bat Cave, to Papa Golf. Thank you. I just want to say thank you, Rob. Thank you for coming out to visit, and uh, you guys are welcome anytime. Thank you. Looking forward to the next time, and please come see us in New York. We definitely will. Might want to come when it's a little bit warmer. Though. I'll wait. I'll wait for the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good one. See ya. Signing off. Gyro Revolution, Venture Air. You bet.